Hey class, I'm Mr. Thornton, and I'm going to help you get that C in your GCSE. This lesson, the limestone cycle. Limestone is an interesting substance because it mainly contains a compound called calcium carbonate, that's CaCO3, and that's the only chemical formula that you're actually going to need to worry about in this topic. Lots of other metals will also form carbonates, so zinc, magnesium, copper, sodium, they will all form a carbonate zinc carbonate, magnesium carbonate, and so on. And all of those carbonates have similar properties. The one key one which you need to know about for all of them is that when you add them to an acid, they will react with that acid, they'll form a salt, and that's something we'll come on to in another lesson, and they'll also give off carbon dioxide. The one that you really need to know a lot of details about, though, is the calcium carbonate, which we find again in limestone. And that's part of this process that we call the limestone cycle. So let's take a look at that. We'll start our limestone cycle with the raw material, limestone, which primarily contains calcium carbonate. The first step in the limestone cycle is to heat this calcium carbonate strongly. And as we heat it, we say it thermally decomposes. It breaks down. Put simply, the calcium carbonate, which remember it was CaCO3, it loses that carbon and it loses a couple of oxygens as well. So it gives off carbon dioxide. And all you're left with is the calcium atom and just one of the oxygen atoms. That is calcium oxide. The next stage in the limestone cycle is to take that calcium oxide and add water to it. And as we add water to it, we say we hydrate it. And that leaves us with calcium hydroxide. As we add the water to the calcium oxide, it tends to give out quite a lot of heat. If we were to keep adding water, we would form lime water, which is an alkaline solution. And finally, if we now bubble carbon dioxide gas back through the lime water, that lime water will start to go cloudy and it will form a white precipitate. That's tiny, tiny little particles of white powder that are suspended in the solution. And those tiny little particles of white powder are calcium carbonate. And we've got back to the start of our cycle. There's just one more thing which you need to know about this whole process, which is that calcium hydroxide here, if you add lots and lots and lots of water to it and you make lime water and then you bubble carbon dioxide through it, that is the standard test for carbon dioxide gas. Other than that, all you need to remember, calcium carbonate, you heat it and it thermally decomposes to give calcium oxide. You add water and you hydrate it to give calcium hydroxide. You bubble carbon dioxide through and you get back to the start. Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and if this video was useful to you, please use the buttons below to like, subscribe, or share it with anyone else you think could also use a little help. Thanks for watching.